Today we work out with Aaron. Yes, we yeah. are ready. Are you ready for these legs? <laughs> are you ready? Get it in. <laughs> ready to bust them up. Let's go. So what you got in there, man? You got a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, spark, and just a hide, and some supplements, some uh, some creatine. It's going down. So uh, in the next. 20 minutes, it will be fully in my system. Yeah, hopefully, uh, and I'll be ready. Hopefully, he's alive at the end of this. <laughs> We're gonna work on those legs. My buddy's got a, a big testimony. Uh, I'll probably have him share a little bit. Uh, we'll probably have some lunch after this. And first, get a good leg workout, get some cardio in, work on the legs, get them strong. And uh, we're gonna give God the glory at the end of this as well. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Amen, amen. What's your status, man? <laughs> Get away to push something. Yeah. I saw that uh, that uh, empty container, and I knew because he took hide, like it's over with, man. He's, this guy's gonna be on fire. He's already he's he's lit. He's on fire right now. He's he's. It's <laughs> <Mr>. the hide. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> What's your status, man? <laughs> Get away to push something. Yeah. I saw that uh, that uh, empty container, and I knew because he took hide. Like it's over with, man. He's, this guy's gonna be on fire. He's already he's he's lit. He's on fire right now. He's he's. he's All right. So we did some cardio, warmed up, and work on these legs. Get them nice and strong. It's all about pushing and finding that positioning and doing it. My buddy's doing it. He would have been dead. He should have been dead. Not today. Making a comeback. For the Lord. Said it's tough, it hurts. That's what it takes though. <laughs> Alright, so we had a pretty decent workout. My man was pretty angry at me. But uh had this Omega uh, Brownie Crisp bar. It's pretty good. Got some omega threes, 14 grams of protein. Highly recommend. It went down pretty well. And we're just gonna play for our food. And after a while, after that, after we eat, uh, he's gonna give a. His, his, he was gonna share about his, his venture of uh, working out where, where we were as of November of last year and uh, his testimony. All right, uh, brother. Now regarding your testimony. Um, can you tell us about where you were before you know you got into church? Who you were and what you did, and not anything in graphic detail, but just enough for the people to know. Uh, actually, uh, I was the opposite of uh, a man of Christ. I was in the streets. I was locked up. Uh, I locked up 38 times. Uh, I got none of these things, but I was lost. I was lost, so and um, I learned. In the hospital, you know, the, the, that's exactly who God's trying to reach. People like me that were lost and now found, and 
and now I'm reaching out to you and the other people. That but what, what was um, what did you used to do? What was your lifestyle? Uh, they made me 24 hours a day. So, tell us like it is. So like 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 what you what you did? What everything you did? Not everything, but just an idea. Okay. Um, I wake up in the morning and I was smoking blood, smoking square, drinking 40 ounces of OE. It didn't matter what I was drinking. I was partying uh, almost 24 hours a day. Um, I used to sleep in all day. I used to beat up people for a living. I used to go to restaurants like where I'm at right now and beat people up in the chair. And I mean, that's not who I am. That's not who I'm supposed to be. But I didn't know that. And so the molding and shaping is is who I am now. But before, yes, there was no rest and uh, anything man ramming people, hurting people. Uh, it's craziness, creeping, right? Creeping on people. That was my life. And then, uh, now from that point to the, uh, the, the when you got shot in the head, just give us an idea, give us a, a summary of what happened at that moment to the dream. That last dream. Okay. I, uh, I was sitting, I was in the south side of Chicago, 15 in Oakley, as a matter of fact, and uh, I was in the middle of the block at a friend's house. And, and he was working on his house and we were outside and uh, the, somebody came from across the tracks on this side and uh, they shot at, uh, at, at a crowd of people. I got shot in my back and there was rain and they, uh, it was coming, coming out and two holes in my head. Um, my uncle, right away, tried to cover one, and there was still brain coming out. They grabbed the brain, they, they were shoving it back in, and, and um, I was not supposed to be alive. God's mercy, I'm thankful that um, things were thought the way they did. It's been a lot of years of uh, therapy. Um, I, I, I'm still doing uh, therapy with my brother, and uh, he's still helping me. To get stronger and building more, and uh, that, that that that. So you got you went into a coma, and then um, you had that last dream with the owl, right? I uh, yes, uh, I uh, I was uh, I played chess with an owl. I was playing chess literally in my mind, and I was I didn't know. What was happening? It, was, it felt surreal and uh, just like a regular dream, but I was stuck almost. It was a life death situation. If I died, I believe at that moment I would have went to hell because of the life I was living. Now I know because I was born again, which meant that I died to the cross, which also meant that I. Uh, I turned from the life of sin to Christ. From that point, it was a big, big, big point right there. And then uh, talk about getting the Holy Ghost. Okay, getting the Holy Ghost, my uh, ex would help me. You know, we would have uh, Bible studies and, at people's houses, and I got it. And uh, uh, well, what was it like? Uh, I didn't know what to expect, and he was just telling me to uh, to pray and to worship the Lord, and uh, I was, and uh, he would tell me, just open your mouth, relax, and it's just going to come, it's going to come upon you, in you, and through you, and uh, at the moment, I really didn't know, because it was my uh, first time, and I was trying and trying, and I didn't want to get discouraged. And so my pastor would speak to me at work and tell me what to do. And so I did so. And after a while, it was, uh, um, it was uh, a Sunday, a Pentecost Sunday. And I did get the Holy Ghost. And it, it was, it was it, it, I was a new man. And I um, love it. Pretty awesome. Wild experience. And, and now, I understand. 
Where are you? Where are you at now? Now I'm a much better person. I'm a much peaceful person. I don't hurt people. I don't, um, you know, try to take people out. It's not my duty. It, uh, what it is now is to reach souls to the kingdom and to try to try to be the best that I can. One last question, Woody. If you were to talk to the guys in, in the streets or where you were. As if they were you talking to yourself or reaching for them, what would what would, you, what would be some things that you would tell them? Just just two things. I want to be quite honest. It it it's it, it's. I feel like because I saved some of the people's lives, they might listen at the moment, but when I'm gone, they're gonna go right back to what they're doing. But our job is to be a voice in the vessel and to reach out for others. What I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Good. And sharing the sharing your testimony, right? Awesome. My testimony. <laughs> I'm using my testimony to reach people like you that are still in the in the grind, still doing wrong, doing bad. That uh, there's still a chance until the Lord comes back. Yes, He's coming back for our people in the church. So we have to ready ourselves. Awesome. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate you uh, taking the time out and everything and answering these questions so I hope, uh, I hope everyone out there has uh, enjoyed this and thank you for watching that is the end of this episode so until the next time thank you